Measuresmith has lived a long, full life. Born January 2nd, 1915. And for most of those 100 years, the one constant has been music. For more than three decades, he was the much-loved cantor at Temple Beth Ellen, Portland, where he ran the synagogue's music program. Before coming to the United States in 1950, he was the soloist with a radio choir in Germany. That's his voice, recorded in 1947, two years after he walked out of a concentration camp. I was an expert in survival because being in Auschwitz, from one day to the next, I survived. The next day was a new life. Kurt grew up in Berlin, graduating from high school in 1933, just as the Nazi party was beginning its reign of terror. 1933, there were two possibilities as a Jew. You either emigrate or got killed. His family didn't have the money or connections to leave the country. He became a teacher and the cantor at his Berlin synagogue and a witness to the horrors of the Holocaust. While I was still teaching till 42, every day two or three children didn't appear because their families had been de deported. In 1943, Kurt and his fiancée Sonia were deported. Both eventually ended up in Auschwitz, where more than one million men, women, and children were murdered from 1940 to 1945, including Kurt's mother. I, I knew when you get into such a camp, if you have a chance to volunteer, volunteer for the hardest work available. That's what I did. He worked in a quarry under the relentless eye of guards and attack dogs. So next to me, the older people who struggled so badly and, uh, and I tried to help, but I couldn't. But what he could do was offer moments of grace. Just about every day, someone in the camp would come to him asking, please, Cantor, will you sing? Will you pray? He offered encouragement. He offered hope. I was, I was needed constantly. The need to be needed was, we can't, can't be uh, underestimated. This is one of my confirmation classes. When the war ended in 1945, Kurt made his way to Munich with no idea if his beloved Sonia had survived. Then, just by chance, he noticed a bulletin board covered with notes from survivors desperately searching for loved ones. All of a sudden, I see my name. I am Sonia. I'm looking for my husband. The couple reunited and eventually came to the United States and to Maine, where they raised two children who eventually had children of their own. Well, Sonia, the moment she entered Maine, she occupied it. She, oh, she, she, she said, oh, this is my, my mountain. This is my, my, my river, my ocean. Or oh, she was able to inhale all of this, and she loved it. Sonia died five years ago. Kurt Measuresmith still lives by the belief that shaped their lives. Do not take anything for granted. And measure your success, he says, not by what you have, but by what you give.